folks, uh, Kathy Williams de Vries here bringing you another video in my series on the Close 633 Practical Daily Exercises. Uh, we're up to 401. Um, we're dealing with uh, starting on the throat tone A and we'll also be doing some work on B flat. Uh, so there's still a few good left hand exercises as well as going over the break. So I'm going to move the camera down so that you can see my fingers and not my face. Um, and we'll get started. I'll just zoom in there. Okay, so 401. Over the break and a little bit of left hand stuff. exercise is really good because we're going from B to C sharp which is quite difficult. You have to coordinate the pinky so that you don't end up with an extra note. 4-0 too much the same except we've got a D in the mix. And uh, some more over the break stuff you can leave a couple of fingers down. triad and you can leave that right hand down if you wish a minor same deal sort of diminished chord, 406. I prefer to use this B and keep it on the right hand. Uh, the dominant 7th, 407. On the major and minor ninth. Four oh nine, we're going to need to use the left hand C because we've got an E flat in the mix. Again, using the left hand C, going up to a G flat. But you can use the normal C in the second and fourth beats. Okay, now we're moving on to B flat. There's two uh, different fingerings you can use. You can use the full fingering, keeping the right hand down. Or you can use the top, the second top trill key, and this one is to the C, but we'll come to that. So we're doing B flat to C now. Again, you can leave the right hand down. Again, use the top two trill keys, but only for trilling. Um, four, one, three. We've got a C in the mix. Raise the fewest possible fingers. Um, I tend to cover my B flat A sharps. Uh, that way, see, it sounds better. Right now, we've got a B flat minor triad. And, um, 
I suppose B flat minor. Um, note that you can only use the one fingering because of the E flat. Uh, 416, a uh, very nasty one this. And you'll need to use the left hand C. And now we've got some really good work over the break in 417. Again, try to leave as many things down as possible. 418. Note that I'm leaving my right hand down. Now we've uh, got um, a sort of a B major fragment. Whoops, um, that's actually shadowing 420, which is B flat. Okay, 421, uh, more work on the left hand C. C um, going to the B flat. Uh, B flat triad 422. Uh, and then the B flat uh, arpeggio, you can use the long B flat. I will allow that. The same as 424 in the minor. sort of diminished, um, you will need to use the left hand C. Now the dominant seventh. And then 427, the major and minor ninths. to lift the B key, the C key takes care of itself. A little bit harder is B to C sharp. You've got to really coordinate those two pinkies. You can't. There's a little bit of a difference there. Now a B minor RP, um, triad. Uh, I use, prefer to use this B. Uh, 432. Uh, I would use this B because we are going to that D sharp and again you'll need really really good coordination. you'll need to do some left hand C work. Very, very, you want to go to the B flat but you can't. Some interesting work in 434. For 
435 I would use this C and this D flat nice little um, strengthening exercises for the left pinky Um, at 436 you're going to have to cross finger, you can't use the forked fingering. And same with 437. Really, really difficult, isn't it? got an octave leap for the first time. And unfortunately you can't use the fork fingering there either. Uh, I need to use the left hand C for the 439. Same with 440. 441's interesting. Uh, let me see. It's an E natural. training there for B major. Uh, more left hand C sharp, C sharp work in 4.42. And now um, a B major or E major quote. In 445, we're going to need to slide between the D sharp and the C sharp. The only other way you could do it is if you use this extra D sharp key, which a lot of people don't have. 446. D sharp, C sharp, C sharp to B. Very good. 447. 448, you need a really good coordination between the C, G sharp and the F sharp. Again, really good work in the pinkies. Now there's some more sliding action. I'm actually going to go to um, 452, 453 uh, because this is all sliding stuff. So. got a couple of options. Uh, Cicloté suggests in the left in hand, I would prefer actually in the right. Rather than 
I don't seem to be able to coordinate. And then of course you can quickly change. Um, yeah. So that is um, the next set of um, Close Daily Practical Exercises. We're up to 254 now. Um, so we've been working in the last bit through sliding between keys. I'll leave you to um, practice that yourselves. Uh, so please join me for uh, the next set. Really good pinky work happening. Um, we're working into the upper clarion and we even go over into the altissimo in this particular set as well. So please join me for that. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.